Thanks for choosing WIS for this half hour of midday. I'm meteorologist Chandler Jordan out of the First Alert Weather Center. As of earlier this morning, the National Hurricane Center upgrading this disturbance. We were watching off of the western coast of Africa to Tropical Depression 14. Currently, Tropical Depression 14 located near Cape Verde. And as we head a little later into the rest of the week and into the upcoming weekend, this uh, particular system will continue to strengthen. As a matter of fact, it will become Margo by tomorrow. Tomorrow. And then as we head into this upcoming weekend, what will soon be Tropical Storm Margo will continue to intensify into a hurricane. Best news though, well away from the eastern seaboard and for that matter, even Bermuda, just something that we'll watch closely deep in the Atlantic. A little more concern for Hurricane Lee, the latest advisory, 105 mile per hour sustained winds around the core of the storm, and it'll continue to move westward through some very rich and warm Atlantic waters. As a matter of fact, expected to become a major hurricane by tomorrow and it'll continue to intensify so much in fact that it could reach category 5 hurricane status by the start of this upcoming weekend and then from there as it moves a little farther to the west we will eventually see a northward turn of this system and it's going to be a little bit of time before we can get a little more concise as to far as when and how strong the northward turn would be for, for now almost all of our computer guidance suggests that Lee stays away from the eastern seaboard which is great news something still though that we need to watch very very closely as we get more forecast updates closer to home though across the Midlands doesn't look too bad out there starting to get rid of some of these thicker clouds that we had across the region this morning. Many of our temperatures low in mid 80s, especially in places where the thicker clouds have kept us a little cooler. And here's the cause of our thick cloud cover. This very broad and weak disturbance passing through the region as we speak and the axis associated with it is actually where we're getting the source of our clouds as well as in our eastern counties and places like Orangeburg near Sumter as well, getting a little bit of sprinkles or light rain, but this isn't going to be very heavy or sustained shower and thunderstorm activity. A little later this evening, one or two of us could pick up a couple of thunderstorms out there. I think for the most part, we're going to be dry once we get late in the afternoon and evening, but with one or two of the storms that bubble up in the upstate and move into the Midlands, they'll have the opportunity at producing a wind gust anywhere from 40 to 60 miles per hour. There could also be some very tiny hail at times, but again, one of these summer like thunderstorms with the opportunity for some stronger gusts of wind, but really for most of us, we're going to stay dry the next couple of days and the cold front that drops in late Friday and into Saturday, it stalls out, hangs out with us, and that's why we've got increased chances for showers and thunderstorms on Saturday as well as Sunday. So Saturday looks to be the wetter of the two days this weekend. Perfect to stay inside, watch some football. Showers linger on Sunday for kicking off most of our NFL games. And then as we head into next week, not looking too bad, but look at the cool down. Next Thursday, Friday, Saturday, daytime highs could be hanging around 80 degrees. We'll take another look at your 10 day forecast that's coming up here in just a couple of minutes.